Hello friends, welcome to the Shikshak platform. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is what is AI, what is meant by the artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence definition are concerned with the two approaches, that is a thought process and the reasoning. Here we have a four different type of definition that the scientist has built in the different different era. यहाँ पे thinking humanly और acting humanly ये जो terms है ये जो दो definition है which leads to the human performance and thinking rationally and the acting rationally these two definition leads to to the rationality. Rationality मतलब to perform the right things. So we have a four different different approaches. We will discuss the each and every approach in brief. First of all, acting humanly. This approach is designed by the Alan Turing in the year of the 1950. Alan Turing has proposed a one paper, Can Machine Things? And according to his paper, a computer program can think like a human. The computer will need to possess the following capabilities. A computer ko human ki tara act karne ke liye, think karne ke liye, kuch capabilities required hai. Usme se natural language processing is a one of the important capability. Natural language processing is the one of the very important branch of the AI, which deals with the interaction between the humans and the computers using the natural language. It enables to communicate successfully in English. Not only in the English language, we can communicate with the system in any another language, which can be understood by the machine. Second is that is a knowledge representation. Knowledge representation means it represents the information about the world. It stores what it knows or what it hears. Automated reasoning. Automated reasoning means it is used to store the information to answer the question and to draw a new conclusion. If we ask machine to ask questions, the machine would be able to understand the question and he should be able to give the answer to us. Also, he is able to, machine can be able to draw on new conclusions according to the situation, depend on the environment. The fourth thing that is a machine learning. Machine learning is a process, it is a study of the computer algorithm that improve automatically through the experiences and by the use of data. Machine learning is nothing but we have to implement the algorithms, computer algorithms inside the machine which can adopt the new circumstances and to detect and extrapolate the pattern. Extrapolate the pattern means to judge the pattern, to assume the pattern. During test to prove the Nikili, we need two things. One is the computer vision and second one is the robotics. Computer vision is for to perceive the object and robotics is for to manipulate the object and move about. This was the first approach that is a Turing test approach. Second, that is a thinking humanly cognitive modeling approach. Cognitive modeling approach matlab, it's a study of the mind and its process. Our human mind ka study or who kaise process karta Cognitive science is a very interesting field itself. If the particular program thinks like a human, then we can, we can have to determine how the human thinks. We need to study the actual functioning of the human mind. और ये हम लोग कैसे कर सकते हैं बाय यूजिंग द थ्री थिंग्स बाय अप्लाइंग द थ्री थिंग्स थ्रू द यू थ्रू द इंट्रोस्पेक्शन मतलब ट्राइंग टू कैच अवर ओन थॉट्स हम हमारे खुद के थॉट्स कैच करने की कोशिश करेंगे तो थ्रू द साइकोलॉजिकल एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑब्जर्विंग अ पर्सन इन एक्शन अगर पर्सन कोई भी एक्शन परफॉर्म कर रहा है तो उस वक्त उसको ऑब्जर्व करेंगे थर्ड थिंग थ्रू द ब्रेन इमेजिंग हम लोग जो भी एक्शन परफॉर्म कर रहे हैं उस वक्त हमारा ब्रेन कैसे काम कर रहा है so observing these three things matlab to work with the cognitive modeling approach once we come to know how the human mind works it is possible to express that theory matlab agar hame samajh mein aaya ki human mind kaise kaam kar raha hai to wo same implementation hum log machine ke andar computer ke andar implement kar sakte hai by using the computer program ai and the cognitive science these are the two fields they are continue to fertilize each other in the computer vision. Third approach, that is a thinking rationally, that is a law of thought of approach. Here we have to term ko understand karna hai, that is a syllogism. Syllogism is nothing but it's a kind of logical statement. It is defined by the Greek philosopher Aristotle. Here we need to understand, we need to argue with the two different sentences. 
टू प्रूव दर्ड सेंटेंस प्रूव मतलब हम लोग पहले दो सेंटेंस में सेंटेंस के साथ आर्ग्यू करेंगे थर्ड सेंटेंस को प्रूव करने के लिए फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे ऑल द ह्यूमन आर मॉडल एंड आई एम अमन एंड दैट इज वाई आई एम अ मॉडल मॉडल मतलब कैनॉट लिव फॉर एवर सारे ह्यूमन बींग्स मॉडल है मतलब दे कैनॉट लिव फॉर एवर और अगर मैं ह्यूमन हूँ उसका मतलब ये हुआ कि मैं भी मॉडल हूँ दिस सेलोलिज्म दिस लॉ ऑफ थिंकिंग रैशनली लॉ ऑफ थॉट अप्रोच एज अ टू मेन एब्सट्रैकल वन इज इनफॉर्मल नॉलेज एंड द फॉर्मल टर्म्स मतलब इट इज नॉट इजी टू टेक अ इनफॉर्मल नॉलेज एंड स्टेट इन इन फॉर्मल टर्म्स रिक्वायर्ड बाय द लॉजिकल नोटेशन हर एक सेंटेंस को हम लोग लॉजिकल नोटेशन के अंदर बिल्टअप नहीं कर सकते If the the knowledge is less than 100%, and the second obstacle, that is a, there is a big difference between the solving the problem in principle and solving the problem in practice. हम लोग कहते हैं ना किसी problem को हम लोग paper को बहुत अच्छी तरह से draw कर सकते हैं but practically उसको solve करना is very difficult. Last approach, that is a rational agent approach. What is meant by the agent who acts? What is a computer agent? Computer agent are those They are expected to do more. They will change. They will create and pursue the goal. They have to adapt the change from the environment. So these are the computer agent. The rational agent, मतलब rational agent is one that acts so as to achieve the best outcome, or when there is a uncertainty, the best expected outcome. मतलब rational agent is nothing but he has to make the correct inference for to solve any problem make the correct inference matlab correct anuman lagana inference matlab anuman lagana so for the every problem he has to judge the problem he has to overview the problem aur usko solve karna hai for the best outcome this approach has a two main advantage first one that it is more general than the laws of thought approach because the correct inference is just a one of the several possible mechanism for achieving the rationality and second advantage it is a more amenable to scientific development than the approaches based on a human behavior or a human thought so i hope you understand this all the four terms all the four approaches very well thank you for watching this guys thank you so much